Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really, really well. So for today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm doing a video all about my teeth and my whole teeth tooth journey. Um, a little bit of a, a warning. What would you call it? A warning, I guess. Um, I'm going to say tooth and teeth a lot in this video and it's almost annoying me already. It's just quite an annoying word. So I'm probably going to be saying teeth and tooth a lot in this video, but I wanted to do a video all about my teeth because I get a lot of questions on Invisalign. If you guys didn't already know, I did have Invisalign throughout the majority of 2020 I would say if you've been watching my videos for a while you might have noticed that I used to wear my Invisalign brace and I've always had quite a lot of questions on the whole process of that and then I recently got composite bonding as well so I thought I would just do like a whole Q&A because I have had some DMs and stuff from you on Instagram so I thought let's make a whole video about it and try and make it informative because when I wanted to get Invisalign and composite bonding watching videos on YouTube were really helpful yeah I thought I would just do a whole video all about my teeth tooth journey and i also asked over on my instagram you guys to send in any questions that you had about my invisalign or the composite bonding or whitening or anything like that and we'll just answer it in this video so yeah hopefully you do find it helpful but i think i'm just going to talk about the whole process first and then we'll do the q a towards the end of the video let me get some water because i feel like it's going to be a long one so I had been wanting braces for years, way before I actually got them done. I'd say I've been wanting braces since I was like 17 maybe. That's when I started to get really insecure about my teeth. And I feel like unless you're insecure about your teeth, you don't know how like much it affects your confidence because people are constantly seeing your, your teeth when you're talking, when you're interacting with people, like laughing, smiling. Like I just was very insecure about my teeth. And if you are insecure about it as well, then you'll know that it can be, it can just be horrible because they're right in the smack middle of your face. So yeah, I've been wanting to get braces for a really long time. I finally decided last year, so in 2020, that I wanted to sort them out. And I think the the main thing that was steering me off getting braces was the price. Obviously, they are pricey if you don't get them on the NHS. If you're a bit older and you need to pay for them, they can get really pricey. So I think that was one thing that was turning me off. But last year, I was just like, you know what? I hate my teeth. They make me feel really insecure. So I'm going to look into getting them done. I'll try and insert some pictures of my teeth. But honestly, I feel like... It, when you're insecure about your teeth, you do everything you can to hide them. So I literally have no pictures of me smiling. I have no pictures of me laughing. Like, I have nothing. But I'll try and insert some sort of picture where you can see my old teeth. I think right at the beginning of my YouTube channel, you can kind of see me talking with the old teeth. So I'll try and maybe include some screenshots of that or something. And I've actually got shots of when I first started getting the Invisalign as well. But yeah, I was very insecure about my teeth. They were just like sort of crooked and it mainly was my top teeth that I hated like this side there was a tooth that was so high up it was like this vampire tooth that stuck out and it was really high up and they were just like in and out it wasn't really really bad but I just didn't like them basically so yeah they were my teeth before and I started to look into braces and the different braces that you could get and then I started reading about Invisalign and I feel like most of you will know what Invisalign is but they're basically instead of like the typical train track braces they are like a clear retainer that you put in your teeth and you get a new retainer typically every week and they're slowly very very slowly making really really small changes to your teeth until obviously you do the whole process and your teeth have moved in a completely different position so i read about that and i was really really interested in it but i just was scared that it was going to be a lot more money obviously if i could have braces that were invisible then i would prefer that and like the train tracks at 22 wait no wait yeah it was 22 i went for a consultation at the beginning of 2020 to get braces and wasn't sure whether i wanted to get the train track ones or the invisalign also something that i read about invisalign as well that it can take longer than train track braces so that was made me a bit nervous about it as well. When I went for the consultation. He actually said that the Invisalign would take quicker with my teeth. Like I'd be done way quicker than braces. I don't know if he actually meant that. I don't really know. I'm trying not to ramble on too much. But basically I went with Invisalign and I got them fitted at the beginning of March 2020. Bless me. I had no idea what was in store for that year. But obviously things did not go to plan. So I got my Invisalign fitted at the beginning of March 2020. And I have a whole, if you are interested in Invisalign and like tips and stuff, I have a whole video about Invisalign tips, which I'll link in the description box below. So 
it's just like things that you'll need and like things to bear in mind and stuff so i'll leave that in the description box below but obviously march covid happened so i literally got my invisalign fitted like he gave me the first three no he gave me the first five trays i think and then two weeks later covid happened everything shut down so with invisalign you should be seeing your dentist like every month they will give you new trays to use they'll check up on your teeth they'll make sure that they're moving in the right way because teeth don't always move how they think like how a dentist will think they're going to move sometimes they won't move exactly how they think they're going to that wasn't a good description but yeah they just they need to be checking up on your teeth regularly sometimes you need to have filing done in between your teeth i had none of this because my dentist shut down at the end of march as did like everyone's dentist and then mine actually went bust so <laughs> the dentist the orthodontist that i saw i literally saw him the first time i got the invisalign and then i never saw him again so i basically did the whole invisalign by myself which you shouldn't do because obviously you need to be seeing a dentist regularly um i went and picked up the rest of my trays i had 20 trays in total and i just went to the dentist and picked them all up and just did it all by myself but yeah obviously that wasn't ideal and now we're like more used to the covid situation a lot of dentists are open and you can go for invisalign consultations and stuff so you wouldn't you won't have to deal with that issue but i did practically do the invisalign by myself yeah i had 20 trays so 20 weeks which is five months sorry if that's wrong but i think it's something like five months and then also something to bear in mind with invisalign so your dentist will give you the plan and you can see how your teeth are going to look by the end of it but like I said, teeth don't always move how you think they will. So my orthodontist told me that in most cases, at the end of the Invisalign process, you'll probably need more trays. So they'll do like another, it might be another five trays, another 10 trays, um, because your teeth need perfecting and they haven't moved exactly how like they thought they were going to move. So obviously again, I never got any of that because my orthodontist went bust in COVID. RIP so I never got to have like refi I think they're called refinements at the end of my process to like perfect them and make sure they were completely 100% straight I never got to have that but I only ended up paying for half of the Invisalign because obviously I never saw a dentist never got their refinements or anything like that so I actually only ended up paying half my Invisalign so I ain't mad about it but I will leave my Invisalign like tips video in the description box like I said if you are interested so that happened I again because of COVID I should have been done in July but by July I think I think things still weren't were done it's open I can't remember but I was just in a bit of a pickle a little bit of a situation because obviously my dentist went bust and I didn't know who to see and like what to do so I didn't end up going to another dentist until like November of this year because I was doing the Invisalign on finance most dentists you can find Invisalign on finance braces on finance you typically like most places you don't have to pay full price straight away so that's something to bear in mind as well but I was doing it on finance so I was just going through like loads of issues with the finance company just trying to find like a resolution to what we were going to do about the fact that i was supposed to be paying all this money for invisalign but i wasn't like i hadn't seen a dentist and finally they decided that we i'd pay half so that wasn't that didn't happen until november when they told me that so all that time i couldn't go see another dentist because obviously i didn't want to pay another dentist to like do i don't know what and still have to pay the, the full price of Invisalign, I hope that makes sense, but I basically couldn't do anything until November of 2020. I was just wearing my last Invisalign tray for weeks. It was disgusting. I had to wear it for weeks, it was horrible. Once I finished, I wasn't happy with them at all, to be honest, but I do want to say it's because, one, because I never got refinements to my teeth, so they weren't, they were straight, to be fair, but they weren't 100% straight. And also I just, hated the shapes of my teeth i had really really pointy canines like really curvy like my teeth were curvy like you know how teeth sort of typically are square mine were like curved they were really really translucent at the end all teeth naturally are like translucent at the end you can kind of see like the tooth inside it but mine were really translucent at the end which again i didn't like but then i wanted to get composite bonding which kind of brings us up to now um hopefully that wasn't too rambly and i'll answer some more questions in the q a but i went to a dentist about getting composite bonding i had to get a few like fillings and stuff before and then i ended up whitening my teeth with this dentist and his composite bonding was a little bit cheaper and i don't know i just started getting doubts i was like i don't know whether this dentist is going to be able to give me what i want like he was just kind of like oh no your teeth are fine like I don't know he just he wasn't getting what I, what I wanted to 
to do and that's the thing about composite bonding that i think you have to bear in mind it is like a whole cosmetic look and i feel like some dentists can do composite bonding as in they can if you've chipped your tooth they can do composite bonds on that tooth to match it to your other teeth and stuff like that but i feel like some dentists don't do like a whole composite bonding smile so you have to be careful with that because he was a bit cheaper and i'm so i did the whitening with him and i was supposed to be getting composite bonded with him and i didn't end up doing it and i'm so glad that i didn't because yeah i'm just really glad that i didn't and they've been uploading more regularly on instagram and i've looked at their pictures and they just it's not what i would have wanted so i'm so glad make sure that you do go to different people and have a look around because you want to find the people that can really give you what you want for your teeth so i then found another dentist and he like totally understood what i was meant like he straight away was like do you want the your translucent teeth covered up which um i didn't take offensively but he like he straight away knew that i wouldn't want the translucent bottoms of my teeth and then also getting rid of the the really pointy canines just squaring out the rest of the teeth and making them more even and yeah so i got that done nearly two weeks ago now i think so these are my teeth now hopefully they look nice i can't really see in the viewfinder so i don't want to be like shut off my teeth and they don't even look that great in the position but yeah i got them done like two weeks ago now and i'm so happy with them i feel like it's completely changed my face i don't know if that's really dramatic but yeah like i just even after the invisalign i really wasn't happy with them and i feel like so you can tell my teeth are really straight because they look really straight but because of the odd shapes of them like the really pointy teeth and the really circular other teeth it made them look not like as straight i don't know if that sounds weird i definitely feel like composite bonding has just completely changed the look of them and i'm so happy oh and i also got whitening done with this dentist as well but yeah that is my little tooth teeth journey um just wanted to give you like a brief outline of the, like the timeline of events and it wasn't a smooth ride because of covid it just wasn't ideal i'm going to start opening the questions now and just answer like what you guys actually want to know this is definitely the most popular question it's just like the whole thing is just this question basically but the most popular question was how much did it cost so the invisalign and the composite bonding so invisalign i think can range from like two and a half grand to like four grand up london and stuff if you get quoted four grand just don't go there because that's just ridiculous so my invisalign was supposed to be like 3200 i think like i said i was going to do it on um finance so you pay it off for however many, for how long you want really i think you can do it for like six months to like two three years depending on how much you want to pay each month but yeah mine was 3200 but like i said i did end up paying all of that because i didn't get like the whole invisalign treatment but typically you're looking around like three grand but you can do it on payment plans and then for composite bonding prices so mine were 250 pound per tooth um which is i would say pretty common that's about the roundabout price usually it's about 250 pound per tooth i think again like places up london you're looking at more like 300 pound per tooth but then some places are cheaper so the first dentist that i went to like i said that i was going to get composite bonding with and then changed my mind he was one 195 i think per tooth um so a lot cheaper but not i think he definitely wanted to give me what i wanted but yeah looking from like 200 to 300 pound per tooth usually and this is for the edge bonding i think if what's it i think yeah composite veneers i think it's called it's when composites over the whole tooth that's again you're looking like 300 to 400 pound per tooth that's the point actually what composite bonding is i didn't actually mention it basically what i got done was they put composite the material around the edges of your tooth i think some people call it composite edge bonding so they put this material around the edges of your tooth and then sculpt it to reshape the tooth and then there's a composite veneer which is when the material composite is put over the whole tooth so then you can change the shade of your teeth you can make them a bit whiter because obviously whitening your teeth you can only get them so white and it just gives it more of that like fuller veneer look whereas the bonding is literally still your teeth but it's going around it just in case people didn't know but i feel like everyone knows what it is someone asked were teeth a big insecurity were teeth a big insecurity of yours like i mentioned at the beginning of the video they were such a big insecurity ins oh my god can't say that word they were such a big ins they were such a big insecurity of mine even like my friends now say it's so weird like seeing you smile because they just never saw me smile and i feel like it's just helped with everything even like conversations with people i feel like it's so much easier to be more friendly and i find it easy to talk to people because i'm not thinking like about trying to cover my teeth i know it's so silly and like i wouldn't 
I don't judge other people's teeth. Like, I don't care what your teeth look like. But for me, I, I found it hard talking to people. Like, I feel like now I can be more friendly and approachable because of my teeth, you know? The sun is setting, so I'm sorry if the lighting's going a bit rubbish. I'm um, having to film this after work. Did you have to get them whitened before as well? So, I mean, you don't have to get them whitened before if you're quite happy with the shade of your teeth, but I wanted to whiten them. Yeah, I got mine whitened before I had the, com the composite bonding. I whitened them for like two two and a half weeks i think and yeah they whitened up low so you feel like they're really white now someone asked was it painful i don't know whether they're referring to the composite bonding or the invisalign the composite bonding isn't painful the only thing i would say is it's a little bit because my teeth are quite sensitive it's a little bit sensitive just because like they're spraying like water on you and just like i don't know just like moving your teeth they're just fiddling with your teeth and if you've got sensitive teeth like some points were a little bit uncomfortable just because of how sensitive my teeth are but it's not composite bonding isn't painful at all and then the invisalign is the invisalign painful um i wouldn't say that it's painful it's uncomfortable especially getting used to it that first night putting the invisalign in i was like what is this in my mouth like it's horrible like all i could focus on was the fact that i had this this thing in my mouth and i just wanted to get it out and i used to go on like invisalign forums and see what other people were saying and advice and people always said the same thing like give it a couple days and you literally will just forget that it's there and i was thinking how can i forget this plastic horrible thick thing is like suffocating my teeth but you actually do give it a few days and it's just normal now i can't imagine wearing it every day like all day i'm like how did i do that you do get used to it but that first day or so you're like how am i ever going to get used to the fact that this plastic because it's so tight as well because obviously it's moving your teeth it's really tight on your teeth but you you do get used to it yeah i wouldn't say it was painful but it is uncomfortable and every time you change the trays obviously they're tight because they're moving your teeth slightly so those first one to two days your teeth can be a little tender so sometimes i for those like first sort of days of when i put a new tray in i would just have like soup and soft food I and mean, everyone has different experiences like i said i used to read these invisalign forums and just get like advice and what other people said and i think some people really struggled with the pain of the teeth moving but i would say the majority of people and me as well it was just uncomfortable but nothing that you can't deal with how long does the bonding last and does it ruin your teeth so oh, i don't actually know how long it lasts you know i forget i think it can last from like three to seven years depending on how well it's done and how well you look after them if you're like quite careful with them and stuff the dentist i went to you get free like night guard i think it's called for the top of your teeth to wear in the night basically a retainer to protect them throughout the night in case you grind your teeth or whatever but because obviously i had invisalign i had to wear retainers every night anyways is invisalign worth the money and did you get the results that you wanted um i would say that invisalign is worth the money if you want to straighten your teeth i mean it will straighten your teeth i did get the look that i wanted i didn't get the look that i wanted but i think that's because like i said i hated the shape of my actual teeth but they're really my teeth are really straight but because I didn't like the actual shape of my teeth, like the, I feel like the bonding changed the look of it for me. But if you already have, like, if you already like the shape of your teeth and you just want to straighten them up, then I don't see why Invisalign wouldn't be worth it. How many teeth did you get the bonding on? So I got them on the front six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that helpful? I don't know. Any tips for combating sensitivity when whitening your teeth before bonding? Yeah, my teeth are quite sensitive. I used Sensodyne toothpaste and there's also like a rapid relief toothpaste that you can use. One thing I will say though is, so when I got whitening done the first time with that dentist, I didn't end up going with my teeth were really sensitive like just breathing in but it just felt so cold and horrible um i don't know what whitening thing i used i can't remember but with this dentist i used philips zoom white and i found that my teeth were nowhere near as sensitive and it still whitened my teeth really well maybe if you can maybe look into whether you can get the philips zoom i think that's what it's called Philips zoom whitening because i didn't find that my teeth were half as sensitive as they were with using the other whitening um trays my teeth were so sensitive and then obviously using sensodyne regularly and like rapid relief toothpaste as well how obvious did the invisalign look okay now this is one that i do want to talk about so obviously with invisalign they call it invisalign because it's supposed to be invisible it is not invisible invisalign is not invisible and because right all the pictures of invisalign they have that clear simple plastic retainer which okay it's relatively invisible but still like 
maybe from a distance but if you're up close talking to someone like this close you can see that they've got like a retainer on which I wouldn't really care about but what they don't tell you or what they don't put in the pictures is that in I think like 98% of cases or whatever you actually need attachments on your teeth which are like pointy little attachments they're actually made out of composite as well and they like put them on your tooth because then the retainer can grip onto your tooth and move it more then obviously your retainer has these little bumps in them so that they can grip onto these attachments i'll try and insert a picture of what i mean so you can see but it makes it look so obvious like it was so obvious that i had invisalign and i was one of the unlucky ones because some people only need a couple like my boyfriend's getting invisalign but just on the bot on his bottom teeth and he's got one attachment like there i think which is nothing i had attachments on every single tooth except for on this one like my front one of my front ones i had attachments on every single tooth so it was so obvious because i had these bumps all over my teeth I had all these attachments on my teeth and i had to go to another dentist and get them shaved off and the feeling of getting them shaved off and then feeling your teeth again because obviously they're like little points all over your teeth and then when you got them taken off i just i remember constantly like going like that because they feel so slimy but yeah there's definitely something that i would think about because i don't personally think it's invisible at all especially if you need a lot of attachments which i think in a lot of cases you do i don't know why i needed so many i literally had them on every tooth except one of my front ones and i actually remember saying like i don't mind if i need attachments just as long as they're not on my front teeth and i had one right there i guess it depends on like, what you prefer would you prefer someone to look up close and sort of see that you've got a retainer on maybe with some bumps in them or do you want the silver train track I wouldn't have cared if I had the silver train track to be honest like I feel like I could have easily had that I'm just so glad I didn't because obviously I would have had it when all the orthodontists were shut and I wouldn't have been able to get them tightened oh god I haven't even thought that before like, that would have actually been a nightmare and you do have a slight lisp as well which I feel like I still have like I feel like I haven't been able to get rid of the lisp I feel like it really affected the way that I talk <laughs> wearing them all the time because you have to wear them 22 hours a day like you're wearing them you, they're only out for two hours a day and even that they say you know if you could do 23 hours it's better yeah i feel like it, it affected my speech a little bit someone asked does composite bonding go on the whole tooth or a section of it so yeah you can get composite edge bonding which is what i got where it just goes around the edges you can get composite veneers i think some places might actually call it composite bonding that's where they put composite over the whole tooth which is yeah, you can change the shade of your tooth more, like you can make them whiter, you can make them fuller, you can change like more the size of them. If you want like a bigger like smile, obviously you can make your teeth look bigger and stuff with the veneers. Are you happy with the overall look of your teeth? Yeah, I would definitely say I'm so happy with how they look. I really want them to look natural. Like how I explain it is like I don't want someone to look at me and think teeth you know how sometimes when someone's had their teeth done, even if the teeth are perfect, like they're the beautiful white gorgeous teeth but when you look at someone like your first thought is teeth because they're really big or they're like not natural looking I don't know I just didn't want someone to look at me in their th their first their first see what list their first thought be teeth and that's not always necessarily a bad thing like I said the teeth can be like amazing but I just didn't want someone's first thought to be teeth so I wanted them to be like as natural as possible like just suit my face like not really change the size of them as such I just want them to be like more of a perfect shape I don't feel like really toothy like really <laughs> that was a horrible face I feel like sometimes people can go a bit too big or a bit too much with the teeth I really didn't want that to happen I wanted them to look as natural as possible which I think he did I've just completed my Invisalign stuck on whether to get bonding what are your thoughts on this I feel like if you've got nice shaped teeth and you're not bothered about bonding like you don't need it so many people that i was following who had invisalign just so i could like see their invisalign journey and when, once they finish like their teeth are amazing they're so straight and like perfect and beautiful like i don't feel like you need to get bonding as the end result of braces like sometimes i feel like braces can completely change the way that your teeth look it depends whether you're happy with the actual shape of them you know like i said i didn't like my pointy canines and the fact that my teeth were really like circular and short and not the same length and stuff so i feel like that completely changed my smile but then some people just have really lovely styles of teeth of tooth um so you can get invisalign and like your teeth look really nice like you probably don't even need it do you know what i mean it's just that extra bit of money that you don't need to spend are you worried composite bonding may break my dentist made it seem like it's not reliable i am worried about that actually i feel like i've heard a few stories of people like their teeth are chipping and obviously it's a lot of money so you don't want your tooth chipping i'm trying to be as careful as possible he said like 
just try to be careful like if you're having an apple don't bite into an apple like cut it up just little things like that so i'm trying to be as careful as possible obviously i wear my retainer every night so i won't grind the teeth yeah i'm definitely worried about that i don't want them to chip because i love them i'm trying to be as careful as possible how was going out for drinks with invisalign in did you take it out or just drunk or drink with it in so again i feel like i didn't get the full invisalign experience because i did invisalign the whole invisalign in lockdown pretty much um I think there was two weeks before lockdown when I had Invisalign and I went, so I went out once with it in and it was a ball ache, I'm not gonna lie, it was really annoying. You can't eat with them in. I was in this really nice restaurant up London with my friends. We was on a brunch, I think. Um, and I had to like take these like, Invisalign trays out, put them away. It's like all spitty and horrible and then eat. And then I was trying to not be too long. So obviously you can't be like leisurely eating and drinking because you can only have them out for two hours a day. I was trying to eat really quickly. Then I had to take my toothbrush into the bathroom and it was so busy and I was so embarrassed. It's not embarrassing, but I'm just, I'm gonna be honest. I felt embarrassed, I don't know why. Like I just didn't wanna, all these girls around me like putting their lipstick on and I'm like in the in the sink brushing my teeth. With drinking, did you keep them in? Um, I think they say to you like, do not keep them in. I'm pretty sure, well, I'm pretty sure they say to you like, do not keep them in if you're drinking anything other than water. When I used to read them in Invisalign forums, like people did keep them in. I think the thing is, is if you're drinking like sugary drinks or anything, then sugar and the drink will get stuck in the trays. And obviously that's not good for your teeth. You're gonna start to decay in your teeth because it's like getting trapped in the trays. Whereas usually you would just like swallow it down. But I did read that some people were just, you know, if they were going out for a few hours with their friends, they would just drink um, things that wouldn't stain the trays. So you don't wanna be drinking like red wine or anything dark colored. So if you drink like white wine, I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe just don't do it regularly because yeah, there's like sugar in the drink and they'll like stick in your teeth. But I'm not gonna lie, I went out once with Invisalign in because that was the only opportunity I had before lockdown and it was a pain. And yeah, you gotta go brush your teeth in the public toilet and yeah. Does Invisalign actually take a long time to strain your teeth? I think it's different for everyone. Like I said, mine was only five months, which I don't think is a long time to be honest, to completely straighten your teeth. But then I've read that some people have it for literally two years and they've got really problematic teeth and stuff. So I think, honestly, it completely depends on how long your Invisalign thing will be. Someone also said, was you worried about the composite bonding looking fake? So like I mentioned before, yeah, I definitely was. I didn't want it to look too toothy. Um, I just wanted it to look natural, but obviously there's so many people that can do composite bonding that it's, you can easily look around on Instagram and see pictures of their work. I think it's easy to see like someone's style. I feel like you can just get a feel from someone's Instagram page. So have a look around, just see their work. You also just need to have a conversation with them as well. Like they are just asking you what you want. A lot of people want that bigger look or want the really, you know, veneer look. So I'm sure if you don't want it to look fake, you want it to look more natural, they can definitely do that for you. How long did the composite bonding take? So it, I think my appointment was four hours. So, oh my God, my back was killing me. It was so uncomfortable. But yeah, it takes about four hours. It takes a long time. Um, so they're just like placing it on the tooth, sculpting it, polishing it, what, I, I don't know what they're doing to be honest. I feel like I've been talking for the longest time and I really hope it was helpful. I feel like I blabber on a lot. I don't know whether it's necessarily helpful. So I hope that it was. I'm gonna leave on the last question, which is, would you recommend Invisalign and composite bonding? Yeah, 100% would. I think with Invisalign, it really depends on your lifestyle, what will work better for you. I think just braces in general are great and you can, you know, you might be, you might suit just the typical train track better and it might just work better with your lifestyle or you might prefer Invisalign. I just think braces are fascinating. The fact that you can like literally move your teeth completely into new positions, I find it crazy. But yeah, I do recommend the Invisalign. There definitely are cons to it, but I think there's probably cons to any sort of brace. And then with the composite bonding, I 100% recommend the way that it looks. I feel like it's, like I said, I feel like it's sort of changed my face a little bit, but I don't know whether I recommend it in terms of longevity i don't know how long this is going to last if it's going to be worth the money that i paid i don't know yeah i would say i do recommend both of them and i'm really really happy with them but i hope you enjoyed this video i do hope you found it helpful like i said i do feel like i've rambled on a little bit but i just wanted to give you some information on like what i had done and 
the costing, the pros, the cons of Invisalign and everything like that. There's so many videos on YouTube of people who are talking about their Invisalign experiences, their composite bonding experiences, so you can get other people's opinions as well and other people's point of views and stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you found it helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye!